A very pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. As you know, the series continues. The series of those great producers, artists, singers and players of instruments. Those who are still here with us today and those who are simply gone too soon. In my series, I keep coming across a name. A female name as one of the greatest all-time female producer and I keep seeing the name Sonia Pottinger and I said to myself I have to research this wonderful lady and find out what part she played in the music industry of Jamaica well here is the story on Sonia Pottinger. Sonia Eloise Pottinger, me Durant, was born on the 21st of June 1931. She was a Jamaican reggae record producer, an icon in the music business. Sonia Pottinger was the first female Jamaican record producer and produced artists from the mid 1960s until the mid 1980s. Sona Durant was born in Leith Hall, St. Thomas Parish, Jamaica. She moved to Kingston as a child and attended St. George's Girls School. She trained as a secretary and followed an accountancy course before marrying accountant Lyndon O. Pattinger. The couple set up several businesses in Kingston, including a bicycle shop and a bakery. In 1961, Lyndon Pattinger opened a small recording studio, the first in Jamaica to be owned by a black person, to produce recordings by local hacks. He set up several record labels, including Gay Disc, and SEP, Sonia's initials, and recorded acts including The Matals, Derek Ariat, Lord Tanamo, and Teenager Minnie Small. In 1964, Lyndon Pattinger sold his recording equipment to Duke Reed, and shortly afterwards, the Pattingers separated. Sonia decided to continue producing records. She opened her tip-top record shop in 1965 and started to record musicians in 1966. The first single she issued was Every Night by Joe White and Chuck. Other artists recorded during this period included Roland Alfonso. Throughout the rock steady and early reggae eras, she became prolific with its by the Ethiopians, the Whip, Delana Stewart, the Melodians Swing and Dine, Ken Booth, Alton Ellis, and Toots and the Matals, released on her gay feet, tip top, rainbow, and high note labels. In the early 1970s, her work was less prolific, but in 1974, she bought the Treasure Eye label from longtime friend Duke Reed shortly before his death. Her rights to the labels recorded were challenged by the Jamaica Recording and Publishing Studio Limited, the company created by Reel's rival, Clement Cox and Dodd. Reed's son, Anthony, and his company, Treasure Isle Records International Limited, and Edward Bonnie Lee, but the case was decided in her favor in 2009. In the 1970s, she produced albums by Bob Andy, Marcel Griffiths, Culture, U Roy, and Big Youth. Her most well-known production is Culture's Other Than The Rest album, released in 1978. In the dancehall era, show produced Archie and Lynn's Rat in the Center. She retired from the music business in 1985. 
Sonia Pattinger died at her home in Kingston on the 3rd of November 2010 after suffering for some time with Alzheimer's disease. A Thanksgiving service in her honor was held on the 19th of November 2010, attended by Minister of Culture Olivia Babsy Grange and major figures from the Jamaican music industry, including Judy Mowat, Alvin Ranglin, Donovan Germain, and Tammy Cowan. Some of her hit productions, including various artists dancing down Orange Street in 1969, various artists, Musical Feast, 1991, various artists, The Reggae Train in 1996, various artists, Put On Your Best Dress in 1967 to 1968, reggae artists, Queen Patsy and Stranger Cole in 2007, Culture, other than the rest, in 1978. Culture, in dub, in 1978. Culture, Combalo, in 1979. Culture, international herb, in 1979. Trad on high note, in 1993. Production something, 1998. Old hits of the past. Joseph White and Chuck Joseph every night. Joseph White and Chuck Joseph, my love for you. The Ippy Boys, Dr. No. Various artists, time to remember. Phyllis Dillon, One Life to Live. Bob Andy, Lots of Love and I. Sonia Spence, In the Dark. Claude L. Clark, How Great is Our God. Otis Wright. Sacred songs, and the list goes on and on and on. Sonia Pottinger, realizing from she was a little girl that music was in her bones, and even though she separated from her musical husband, she went on to continue the legacy. At this time, I'd like to reach out to the Pattinger family and let them know of my heartfelt condolences, even though it's been a while, but Sonia really deserve this kind of accolades. Sonia Pattinger was eventually granted the order of distinction by the Jamaican government. Sonia Pattinger, you came, you saw, and as the first female producer, gave us some powerful songs that your name is permanently etched in history as one of the very top producer, Sonia Eloise Passenger O.D. You came, you saw, and you definitely conquered. May your soul find eternal peace. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The legendary, the iconic, the pioneer, Sonia Eloise Pottinger. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Thank you.